front of Kelly. <laughs> All right, here we go. 52 seconds left to go. Van Cleveren. Oh! oh. <laughs> Everybody, big guy. By Sajan. Van Cleveren with a block. Ooh, he All right, Greg Grimm will inbound the ball with a minute 19 left to go till halftime. 13 point lead for Pomona. I think that's maybe the biggest halftime deficit of the year for Cal Lutheran. Oh, great power up by Nice move Man. for one shot. It won't be the last shot, though, because there's enough time for two if it, things go right. Oh. Walton to Knudsen. Inside to Meyer. He'll take it if he can. Outside to Van Cleveren. 13 on the shot clock. Meyer to Aaron. Lays it up no good. Oh, Gets okay. his own rebound and puts it back. Pretty. Beautiful play. Has not missed a shot. Jeremy Nancum. Pretty play. Sexton in the lane. Outside to Stefan, six foot nine. No good. Grim with the rebound. Here's Walton on the run. Ooh, should have oh. kept going. Van Cleveren gets Great the bounce and it's foul. Walton had an option. He had an easy little layup yeah. about two feet right in front of the uh, basket, but he got off to Van Cleveren, who luckily for Cal Luther made that and was fouled. And draws a foul. Foul on number 42, Sean Stephan, his first third team foul on the Sage Hens. Cal Luther only has two team fouls, and Aaron Van Cleveren will be at the line shooting one. He is a 58% free throw shooter, trying to make this a three point play. And he does. Nice stroke. Basket with only 12 seconds left to go on the shot clock. Oh. Stefan. Rebound taken by Van Cleveren. It's rare to see Pomona miss a shot. I'm so used to seeing that ball go through the hoop when they put it up. Now Luther trying to get the ball inside, but they just can't. The defense Trending. has been so tight tonight. Yeah, definitely. And when they do get it inside, Pomona oh. collapses. Oh. Now oh. Somebody forgot about that. Aaron Van Cleveren did a nice job on, re on the defense that time, and Fisher comes up with the big rebound. That's at the pick. Oh. Fisher from 12 feet to right side. Oh, Van great Cleveren rebound. The rebound. Puts it up, puts it in, and he's fouled again. There we go. I have a feeling it's on number 11, Adam Chamowitz. Oh, it's oh, 42. on 42. Sean Stephan, the big 6'9 guy. What's it like to live your life being 6'9? <laughs> a different perspective. Oh, my I goodness. Can't buy clothes. <laughs> Try to get. Van Cleveren for three.
Basket by Aaron Van Claveren. Basket by Aaron Van Claveren. Foul by number 14, Vince Bauer, first personal, fourth team foul against the Leopards. Aaron Van Claveren at the line, shooting one. Basket is good by Aaron Van Claveren. Basket is good by Aaron Van Claveren. Basket is good by Aaron Van Claveren. Foul by number 14, Vince Bauer. Fourth personal, fifth team foul against the Leopards. Aaron Van Claveren at the line, shooting one. Jack Mayer into the game for the Leopards, replacing Vince Bauer. No basket. Well, I am not sure. We're getting a couple of complaints from a couple of listeners that they're not hearing us, but lots of people logged in. Here's a pass inside by CLU. They get it to Von Clever and he lays it in. Oh, nice pass by Lizarraga underneath to Daniel. He was pushed out of the way. Wild shot. He's asking the referee why no foul call. Meanwhile, back the other way comes CLU. Van Clever and scores it and he's fouled. They're going to call a block against Vinnie McGee. He was standing right underneath the Matador basket. <laughs> 